Uh, it's a Philadelphia tradition. It's coming to life at the Please Touch Museum. That's where we can find our Justin Peasy looking in windows. I know. You know what? This is, it's amazing to watch these little kids come by, and they're totally captivated by this. I mean, like, this is the, or scared by us. But, I mean, they stop, and they look in these windows, and they're so captivated. And quite honestly, like, this is a little creepy. Like, look at that barber. He's a little creepy. This stuff is um, decades. It is. I mean, it is creepy looking, but kids with the carousel and everything that's here, they are really attracted to this. This was originally in the uh, Litz department store for about 10, 15 years. And then Sunoco bought it because they wanted to make sure it stayed in the city. And it sort of bounced around from place to place. And Stacy's with the uh, Please Touch Museum. And it's now here. And isn't it amazing how much kids love this? It's surprising, actually. It is. I mean, there's it like, is. of the things like video game world, they stop and they want to look. And, it, and we said it's a little creepy. <laughs> It can be a little creepy for some people, but um, it's it's got a lot of enchantment still left. Yeah, in I, it. I don't know what it is, but it's just so cool because I guess part of it is because you can look in um, the mirror. I swear that looks like our executive producer from the back, like when she was a little kid at the board. Mina, that is you. It's a little freaky, but that's the schoolhouse, and then. Uh, over here is the uh, baker getting caught on cords again. And then finally, the toy maker. And Andrew is from the Philadelphia Foundation. And you guys just gave $50,000 for this to be refurbished. Why was this so important to you guys? Well, it's, it's a very important because it's the history of the community. Uh, this, this exhibit was at Lit Brothers uh, for many years. There are many people. Do you remember seeing it there? Well, unfortunately, I didn't grow up in Philadelphia, okay. so I don't remember. But I have a number of board members who remember it deeply. And uh, when when it needed to be renovated, uh, we were happy to do that. And now we need to make sure it's maintained going forward so the generations of children can experience it. And this is just the perfect place for it to be at the Please Touch Museum because there's so many children who come through here. And it is, it is really enchanting to to go through and see what 18th century life is and to look through windows. Luann, see? I don't know why you keep saying it's creepy <laughs> and freaky, because I think it's No, it is. it is a little creepy. Come here. Come here. Uh, it, I mean, it is. Look at this barber's well, face and tell me you're not creeped out. <laughs> Like, look at his eyelashes. Well, you know, back it in the day when they created this, they weren't as advanced as they are in animation, all right? <laughs> That's you I guess, know. I mean no, but I mean you know it. But, but that's why it's we amazing like it. The kids it's are drawn fashion. to this still. Yeah, it's old. You fashion. know, especially this museum has so much stuff. Yeah, old fashioned. All right. <laughs> I, Bye, Justin. Bye, Justin. <laughs> you know what I was going to say. No, don't go there. All right. I love you, Luann. I love you too.